What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be back to work on my 2023 BMW M4. As you guys seen in the previous episode, we got the quarter panel welded on this car. We got all of the body work done. And now the final step is to paint prep this car so we can take this thing down to Florida so we can get the entire car painted in. As you guys know, this is a BMW individual color it is the brilliant frozen white, I think. I'm not sure what this color is called, but it's a flat white paint, which is gonna be extremely difficult to paint, but glad we found a guy that will actually do it. He's been painting for over 30 years and he does a really good job. I was taking a look at some of his videos and I was like, that's the guy I want to paint this car. It's white plus it's matte, so it's gonna be a pretty tough color to paint. Cause I know if you get a little speck of trash in this paint job, you can't buff it. You can't do anything. You basically just have to repaint it. And our Goon Squad did just buy an M3 that is matte also, which that color is going to be kind of difficult to paint also, but theirs is a little bit darker. So if there's like a speck of dust or a speck of trash, you won't really notice it as much, but I can't wait to see how theirs turns out. But we're going to take ours to a professional, you know, he's been doing it for ever but before we can take it down to florida we do have to do a little bit of disassembly we need to get this tail light off basically prep every panel we're also probably just going to go ahead and paint this trunk too there's really no reason not to paint it i mean it's pretty small so we'll go ahead and disassemble it and as you can see somebody at the auction stole our emblems and scratched it up which kind of sucks i mean how ridiculous is that why would you steal that emblem it makes no sense. Some people these days are just crazy. But yeah, we're basically gonna have to take apart the entire trunk, take this tail light off right here. Also take off all these moldings right here because you do not want to be painting with moldings on it. I think we also will take off this top molding right here and basically just strip everything down. This one comes off pretty easy too. Yeah, that nice BMW. See, somebody could have just stole this uh, molding right here instead of that dumb emblem and got some real money for it. But check that out. It's pretty nice. Just tape it off to be ready for paint. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and strip this car down and get it ready for paint. We'll also have to disassemble this door. So take off the mirror, take off the door handle, take off all the trim. And then we're going to take off this fender and the hood because I went ahead and bought some paint. We're going to go ahead and pre-paint the inside of this, put everything back together. Just so whenever we do get down to Florida, we don't have to do any extra labor. But anyways, let's go ahead and strip this car down. I think we'll start from the front. We'll get both headlights off, take the fender off, take the hood off and just go straight to town and get this thing stripped down.
there it is. We finally got the entire car all stripped down. We took off all of the heat shields and the exhaust here in the back. We also took apart both doors. We got all the trim off, all the door panels off. I even took out some of the seats. I took out the passenger seat and the rear seats in here because when we are gonna be taking this thing to Florida, we might need to put some stuff in here and it's better just to take everything out just so we can have a little bit more storage. And then we also disassemble everything back here. So this thing is pretty much ready to be sanded. We are gonna be pre-painting all this in here. I'm gonna get all this painted out right here and then get all this painted in right here before we take it down to Florida, just so we don't have to do that much work down there. It's better not to have to paint everything in there. And on the outside, it's just gonna be a lot less work once we get there. Plus we need to do some seam sealing right here. We need to seam all this up exactly how it is right here on the passenger side. We did take apart everything. We found a little bit of damage right there, but I think we can just straighten it out and touch it up. It's nothing too serious over here on the passenger side. We also got everything stripped down, took off all the brackets. This thing is ready to go. We just need to start sanding it. We also stripped down the entire trunk. Man, I gotta say, we had to take off a lot of parts off this car, but there it is, guys. I mean, it's pretty much ready to go. All we have to do now is just get straight to sanding. I did grab some 600 grit, and we're basically just gonna DA sand the entire car and get this thing ready. But I think the first thing we're gonna focus on is getting all this right here seam sealed in, sprayed in, just so we don't have to worry about it later. Because we also need to seam seal everything up in here. And then there is some seam sealer work that needs to be done in there. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Let's just start sanding all this stuff down and get it ready for some seam sealer. So check it out, we got everything nice and sanded. Now it's time to go ahead and apply the seam sealer. And honestly, we're just gonna try to recreate what the factory has over here. And basically just have a nice little seam going this way, seam going that way. And basically we wanna make sure everything is just waterproof at the end of the day. It doesn't have to look 100% like factory. It just needs to be waterproof so no water gets in the trunk. I mean, look at it in here. I mean, you're never gonna see any of this because there are actual covers that cover everything up in there but we will just try to do it as good as possible. So let's go ahead and grab our seam sealer gun and get some seam sealer laid down.
together on the BMW M4. This thing is pretty much ready for paint. Now all we have to do is sand it. After we painted everything, I put on all of the brackets. I also put on the latch back onto the trunk, put the trunk back on, closed everything down. Check out these gaps right here. They're absolutely perfect. Everything lines up really good. We also had to do a little bit of adjusting on this uh, passenger side quarter panel but we got the bumper lining up perfectly now it's time to go ahead and sand this thing down we're going to start off with a 600 grit on the entire car basically just smooth everything out until it's completely flat like that and then after we sand all the panels we're going to go ahead and sand the bodywork spots i think we're just going to sand the whole car first before we do all the primer spots so let's grab the da and let's just get to sanding all sanded down and ready to go to paint and unfortunately we did have to do a little bit more body work right here and it turns out whoever was trying to steal these emblems i guess they dented it with the screwdriver so we sanded it down threw a little bit of putty on there got it in primer and we had another little spot up here which it wasn't like a dent or anything it was kind of just where the fender the original fender when the accident happened it kind of just pulled some of the paint off so we just threw a little bit of primer there but everything is nice and sanded and i gotta say i love doing the dry sanding method because as you guys know we've always wet sanded cars and i think dry sanding is just a lot better i mean it's obviously a lot cleaner you know you don't have this little sanding dust mixed with water and it kind of just goes everywhere and it just stains anything it comes in contact with and also the dry sanding you know you can see exactly where you sanded where you didn't sand you don't have to wait for it to dry but it's pretty crazy on this matte paint you don't really know if this is sanded or not you just have to look really closely and you'll notice that it ain't sanded but anyways man the entire thing is nice and sanded i gotta say turned out really good now the next step is going to be to go ahead and load this thing up on the trailer and tow it down to florida
as the G82 is fully prepped and ready to go for paint, I also went ahead and took off the bumper because we are about to be pulling it up on our new trailer. And I honestly can't wait to try this thing out, see how it tows. But man, check it out. The entire car is all sanded super good. We're gonna take off the door handle probably at the paint shop because if you do take it off right now, there's no way of opening up the door or closing it. And I definitely don't want to be locked out. But yeah, everything turned out good. There was a lot of sanding to do on this car. We got it all done. We will have to just sand this little spot right here. We'll probably just do that at the paint shop. I'm not really too worried about it. And this thing is going all the way to Florida, so it's gonna be quite the road trip, but I think everything should be good to go. Check this out. We also went ahead and threw the side skirts inside the car. That's kind of why I wanted to pull out that uh, passenger seat, just so we could throw some stuff in there. But yeah, everything's good. Now let's go ahead and load it up on this trailer. Like that guys we are loaded up and ready to hit the road So guys, we just made it to Crash Champions here down in Tampa, Florida. As you guys know, we've been talking about getting this car painted for quite some time now, and it is finally in a paint booth getting taped up. Well, the candy man actually already shot some of the car. Yo, how's it going? What's up, man? Hey, I see, look, I dropped this car off yesterday, and this morning, he started without me. The guy shows up when it's almost finished. Oh, come on, thing. there was traffic. I did have to drive two hours from my house here, which kind of sucked, but man, check this out. Candyman, he has his own YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and drop that link down below. He does a lot of painting, and I actually seen one of his videos where you're painting that Audi. And I was like, that's the guy I want painting my uh, M4. Appreciate it. But yeah. Yeah, we got this all sprayed in, and uh, we'll just hit this edge a little bit, and we'll be ready to uh, mask it up for the outside. Man, that looks freaking nice. And look, he just seamlessly blended it all in. See, my thing is I always overthink everything. I was thinking we're gonna have to take the door off, you know, paint everything, but you know, he got it blended in real nice here and all up here. I mean, the cool thing is, I mean, you're not gonna see any of this. There's a bunch of trim pieces and everything gets covered up anyways. But he was up here in the morning, he got this knocked out before I even showed up, which you guys will see all that on his channel. I'll drop his link down below. I figured, you know, you're on vacation. You don't want to, you didn't <laughs> exactly. want to Exactly. I mean, I was thinking I was just going to drop this car off, go to sleep, wake up, and the whole car is done. You guys <laughs> won't see nothing, but it's all good. So guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. We got a lot of work done on this car. We finally got this thing to a paint booth, and it is finally getting some color on it. And a big shout out to Candyman. He is going to slick this thing in, and hopefully it's going to turn out amazing, which I have... 100% confidence that it will, but you guys will definitely have to stay tuned for the next video, which will be here soon. That'll be pretty much painting this entire car. But if y'all enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also follow us on Instagram at VTune. Thanks for watching.